All right, so this is my opinion. I know this will upset a lot of individuals who have, let's call early investors or large stake. I've argued with them. Now I just block them because they're just dumb. I do not invest in new card games. Like I did not invest in Digimon. I did not invest in MetaZoo. I do not invest in Flesh and Blood. There's no guarantee that if a massive recession hits, these games will survive. I can name so many games, mainly based on anime series like Naruto, Inuyasha, Shaman King. Shaman King was a fun game. I thought the card mechanic was the best of any game. Dragon Ball Z, not the current Dragon Ball Z, but there was like 8 million drag score made score. Yes, a name that you haven't, you know, that you have not heard of in a long time. But I grew up with score. You know, with score, football cards and so on. A lot of people hype these new games like there's another game called Cryptoc. there's another game called sorcery like on kickstarter right now i would guess there is probably 25 card games that are now making noise noise there was another game i was looking at it was called like some type of gate like gatekeeper or something and it was like an anime waifu game i was like eh, you know, these boxes are cheap maybe i'll buy a few um, and then of course we have Force of Will, Rudy Chan's favorite, and as well as Buddy Fight, which is no longer around. We have Card Fight Vanguard, we have Bushy Road and Weiss, and I mean, blah, 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 blah. I could go on and on and on and on. But the, what I do know is magic will survive. If we could go to depression, 2008. 2008 hits and uh, yeah, that Wall Street collapses. That was the financial mortgage crisis, if you guys remember. I remember very well because I graduated from NYU at the time. Lehman Brothers went belly under. A lot of my friends had internships and job offers from Lehman Brothers. So it was quite surprising when that financial institute went belly under and these, the Wall Street had to be bailed out, right? That was a bad time. That was definitely a very nasty recession. Um, did it ever get to depression? I don't think so, but it was very bad. That was Lorwyn. That was Lorwyn and Magic the Gathering. The Lorwyn Morning Tide. And I remember those boxes being on fire sale. Because again, when things go to shit, the last thing people are thinking of, oh, let's buy some more Magic boxes, right? With our non-existent money. Um, yeah. And the reason those boxes are so expensive and so rare, and I have boxes upstairs, which I've shown, which I've opened. Unfortunately, I should have kept them sealed, but I was being a dummy. Because no one had the money to buy it. But that didn't mean the game did not exist. The game was still around. The game was still very strong. And the game is strong today. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! was around. I don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh! set they were on, but Pokemon was around. I think Pokemon, some of the rarest cards, the E-Series and whatever, that was around the 2008 time year. Um, cause no one had the money to buy these. I think legendary collection was that 2008. I don't know, but I think a lot of whatever that set was that came out in 2008, probably like Lorwyn has a premium because Wizard of the Coast was probably didn't print as much of it. Pokemon Nintendo didn't print as much of it. Cause they were like, Oh, we're going to a recession or America is going to a recession. Probably we should print less Our print run should be lesser than it normally would be during this time. Yu-Gi-Oh! Same thing. I don't know what set Yu-Gi-Oh! was on, but it survived. These card games survived. Many card games did not. So am I confident that Magic, The Gathering, Pokemon, and even sports cards, right? Sports cards will survive. Yes. Yu-Gi-Oh! Same thing. Because they've done so in worse conditions, in my opinion. Like, if this comes anything close... 2008 was horrendous. People were foreclosed on. People, I mean... People honestly didn't even have a place to live because their houses, their homes were foreclosed on. It was a very angry time in America. Things were very bad, very, very bad. Uh, so if this recession is anywhere close to that, you're gonna see something the same where people are not going to invest in these new Kickstarter games. I mean, it's when there's a boom, right? And the stock market is up, S&P 500 hits all time highs, cryptos you know at all time high and people have money to burn yeah burn that money baby have fun with it you can buy you can afford to buy these new games you can afford to invest in these new games 
I don't know, and I'm not saying that it won't. I mean, maybe these new games will stand the test of time, but not all of them. I guarantee you 100% not all of them. Not all of them will stand the test of time because they're, right now it's a danger. Any little mistake that is made because there's just not that much money around. You know, there comes a time where you have to pick a game. You don't have the money for every single game you like and enjoy. If you pick Flesh and Blood, you're not picking Magic. If you pick Magic, you're not picking Flesh and Blood. There comes a time where your budget will be restricted during a recession where you can only pick one or two games. Especially card games. Because these card games, you can't just flip for money. There's no resale value. It's going to be harder and harder to sell them for profit. So it's going to be harder and harder for you to build up a collection from just trading and doing wheeling and dealing. You're going to have to actually put down hard cash because that's what people want. So the reason I don't really particularly buy these new games is there's always, you know, a fear. And the fear is a recession. And during the recession, a lot of companies, not just card games, a lot of companies, they go belly under. That's what a recession is. It is when people lose jobs, when people lose homes. It's when people stock and retirement is worthless and now they have to go back to getting a job in a flooded marketplace where there are no jobs. Things are gonna get horrendous right now. And I know it because Joe Biden, I can read you, I can read you something. People will go, oh, I'm pro Joe. No, 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 I'm not pro Joe Biden, guys. <laughs> the stock market has officially gone negative under Joe Biden's presidency. If you invested on the day Joe Biden was inaugurated, 17 months later, you'd have now lost money. And there's hyperinflation at eight. The government tells us it's 8.3% a month. I think it's actually higher. I think inflation is, I mean, when you look at gas, if you look gas alone, where I live, it's double. It's like $4 a gallon now. It's like, what? Like it used to be under two. It'd be like $1.50, $1.60, $1.70. Now it's $4 a gallon in the gas pump in Exxon Mobil. The mother effing hot dog I eat to Exxon Mobil is like double price too. This is like a hot dog. It's like, what about it? I mean, come on. And now they hide the ketchup and stuff. Like, they don't hide, I mean, it's still on, but you just have to find it. Like, do you know, like, Burger King? My Burger King, I used to, I, I know this is like junkie food. I don't know why I eat it, but I like it. I grew up poor, so Burger King was always like a treat for me, like, as a kid. So I still have fond memories when I'm eating my Whopper. But now they don't even give you extra ketchup unless you ask. And when you ask, they, they just give you, like, one or two. Like, <laughs> it's like, he's like, what? <laughs> Anyway, things are going to get bad and these investors are going to be effed in the butt because they, they didn't love the card game to begin with. It's time to get out. And, you know, I'm here to buy it. I'm here to buy. I'm here to buy. You want to sell? I'm here to buy.